Hello Chess Mood family, Geomavetic here is with you. Now I'm going to analyze one of our team members, Sorrow Hatchet Rig Games, who is a big fan of this French structure when you go and attack here in Kingside. Sorrow, bro, everything you wrote in your analysis, everything is right, despite of this moment. In the game you played h4 and game continued without noting here anything. However, you should start here instead of h4, knight f1 move. And only after knight f1 you can start uh, bishop f4, h4 and go to attack. Or knight f1 and then h4 immediately. Now you will see what's the thing when you play h4 move. After h4 the problem of this move is that black can play here f6 and crush here your center. It look like after ef6, rook f6 here there is a weak pawn on e6. However, we will see that it's not a big deal for black. And the most important factor here is that after knight f1, rook af8, you cannot play bishop f4 move. Now if black go back, um, let's say to c8, d8, wherever, it's, you can comfortably play knight h1, knight h2, sorry, knight g4, knight e5, totally controls this e5, important square, and the 6 pawn will be weak, so this is fine for you. However, after bishop f4, black have a strong sacrifice here of exchange, rook f4. And now after g4, uh, all moves are fine for black. Queen f4 is fine, they have very strong compensation here. They are bishop on g7, rook on f8, queen, knights, uh, your weak pawn on h4. It's very very bad, bad position. Also the same is after rook f4. Additionally, black also can take the pawn on b2. And after rook b1, they go back on g7, and anyway, next move they take your f4 pawn and having two pawn against exchange and crushing, crushing your old pawn structure. So while bishop f4 move is not possible for you, then the position is totally different. After you play knight uh, 1h2, trying to somewhere go for knight g4, but black simply can play rook uh, a uh, rook 6 f7 and the point here is that f2 pawn is weak and you cannot play knight g5 move because of rook f2 and also if you play some move like rook f1 uh, protecting here and then going knight g5 like simply play h6 this looks like there is a little weaknesses yeah but next move e5 is coming so after e5 black has very strong position of their rooks uh, their both bishop will be fine after e5, knight is fine, Ev everything is better for black. They have, they control the center, they have some prop, you have, you have problems here with yours, it's knights on h2, knight on f3, you cannot go into knight g4 because the d7 bishop is opened, so black has big advantage here. If you play instead of rook f1 move, you play it knight g4 and trying to go knight g5, here, despite of the fact that black can simply play e5, attacking your uh, knight on g4, and you cannot play knight g5 because knight e5, sorry, knight e5, knight e5, and then rook f2, and it's problem for you because you cannot take, 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 and you lost the knight. But also after knight g4, black has also this strong uh, tactic rook f3, and after bishop f4, knight d4. So you are losing a piece after queen d1, black simply take here and then take the knight, take, take, take the rook and you are pieced down and you can resign. So f6 is a problem for you bro. Uh, after uh, take rook f6, the next books are coming rook a, uh, f8, then e5. So because of this, it's much better for you to start here with knight f1 move and then go to h4. But even here you should be careful with this f6 move and I believe that in this position this is best move for black f6 because if they don't do f6 move then after h4 uh, usually black play h6 trying to meet this your h5 move with g5 but h4 h6 knight h2 knight g4 attack of white is very very strong here so here after knight f1 even here black's best response is again to play f6 now again, if you take here, rook f6, you never can play this bishop f4 move because of this su sacrifice that I already explained. But after f6, you have here bishop f4 move. This is very important to have, uh, again, after f6, bishop f4 move. This is why I prefer here, it's much better to play knight f1 in order after f6 to have this bishop f4 move. 
Now g5 doesn't give anything to black, you simply take here on f6, queen is hanging there and after g4, fg7, black king is open and is not good for black, also e6 pawn is weak now. After it, f6, bishop f4, uh, black should take on e5 now. Knight e5, knight e5, bishop e5, uh, they should change your everything and this is a little bit a pleasure ending for you because of this e6 pawn. Uh, next move can be probably knight c6, black should play, now rook e2 maybe after on knight d4, so let's say rook goes to e3, and then rook a1 is coming, bishop h3 is coming, it's a little bit better ending for you, however with right play uh, black should also equalize the position, but whatever, after queen e2, bishop d7, yeah, queen e2, yeah, queen e2, bishop d7, you should start here from knight f1, in order after f6 to play to play bishop f4 move, because the move you did h4, black could respond to your f6 very strong move, and you could get problems. This is all, bro, this is the important moment of this game, other everything you commented in uh, your notations, everything is right. If you have any, any comments, any questions, I would like to happy answer them.